Hello guys, this is Raj. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see about the Arduino IDE. So as you are on this video now, I suppose you already bought the Arduino and you wanted to know about the Arduino IDE and about the Arduino programming. So in this video, I will discuss about the basics of Arduino IDE and uh, I will start another series wherein I will discuss about the Arduino programming. This is the Arduino IDE. You can download it from the Arduino website. Once you open this, you will see a blank sketch. Now in Arduino programming, all the programs are called sketches. On the top menu, you will see file, edit, sketch, tools and help. Below that, there is also a toolbar where you can see a few buttons here. So this button is to compile your code. This one is to upload your code to Arduino. This one is for new program, this for is to open a program and this is to save a program. The button here at the right side of the IDE is for serial monitoring. So first of all, let's connect your Arduino board to your laptop. I just connected mine. When you open the computer manager, you will see that COM port has detected a new device. So let's go back to the Arduino IDE and before we start, we need to go to tools oops we need to go to tools select the board in my case it is arduino uno so i have selected it and selected com port 3 because my device is now connected to com 3 once that is done we'll go to files examples See, there are so many examples available by default with your Arduino IDE. That means without knowing anything about the programs or language, you can use the Arduino. So I'll show you one of the examples and you can explore the rest. Go to basics and click on blink. A new window will open with the blink program. As you can see, this program is divided into two methods. One is setup and another is loop. So with a simple blink program, we are giving high and low voltage to pin number 13 with a one second delay. So this is about the program. Now as we are connected to the Arduino board, let's try to compile this and push this code to the Arduino board. So first of all, click on this button and it will start compiling. See down in the below, you can see compiling the sketch and this bar is loading. Now the compiling is done. You can see the message here and below it, it will display a few other details of the program like the memory used and the remaining memory. Now once it is compiled, we will try to upload this code to the Arduino. As I have already selected the COM port and the board. I can just directly click on this button and it will upload the code. And now you can see that the upload is done and the program is now uploaded to the Arduino board. It is simple. There is one more thing we need to see in the Arduino IDE that is the serial monitor. So click on this button, a serial monitor will open. Now currently there is nothing running on my serial port. so. We cannot see anything here, but if you write a program in which you are reading the temperature or humidity or anything from the Arduino board that can be displayed in the serial monitor. For that, first we have to initialize the serial communication port in the setup method. And once that is initialized, select the board range that is by default 9600. And once that is selected, you will see that the serial communication is happening at this window. So that's about serial monitor and about the Arduino IDE. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you have any suggestions and questions, please comment it below and I'll try to reply back to it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so that you are notified about my new videos. Thank you guys and have a nice day.